hello students welcome to youtube channel sun academy in this lecture we are going to solve a question of probability in statistics using bayes theorem as the given question is there are three urns containing respectively two white and three red balls three white and two red balls four white and one red ball one urn is selected at random and ball is drawn from it and the ball is found to be red find the probability that it come from first urn second urn and third urn now see how are we going to solve it three urns and one on two and three balls are white two red three white three red two white four red one now first of all we have to select an urn <coughs> selection of an urn is denoted by u and selection of red ball is denoted by r now <coughs> an red ball red ball and an selection of first one will be denoted as u1 that will be 1 by 3 because there are three urn so probability of all three urns will be equal that means selection of second urn also will be 1 by 3 and selection of third urn will also be 1 by 3 now ball is red on condition that first urn was selected so that will be 3 by 5 p r upon u2 will be <clears throat> 2 by 5 n this will be 1 by 5 to red and one red now red ball and urn that means ball is red and it is from first urn so these both events will be multiplied u1 into p r upon u1 that will be 1 by 3 into 3 by 5 so 3 by 15 i want cancel 3 3 because if i cancel this at last i will have to find the lcm for this event pr intersection u2 will be p u2 into p r upon u2 that will be <coughs> 1 by 3 into 2 by 5 so 2 by 15 and for third event pr intersection u3 will be p u3 into p r upon u3 So one by three into one by five. That means one upon fifteen. Now, what has been asked for the first point? It has been said that ball is found to be red. Find that probability. It comes from first urn. <coughs> It 
it comes from first and that means ball is red on that condition it comes from first and so at denominator i will have to take p r1 intersection sorry r intersection u1 plus p r intersection u2 plus p r intersection u3 and at numerator it will be p r intersection u1 that means 3 by 15 upon 3 by 15 plus 2 by 15 plus 1 by this will be 3 by 15 upon 3 plus 2 plus 1 upon 15 15 cancel 3 upon 6 will be 1 by 2 this is called base theorem what you found here for <coughs> this event you have to find the reverse of this event now second point is event that ball is said to be red and it is from second on that means p u2 upon r so formula will be p r intersection u2 upon p r1 r intersection u1 plus p r intersection u2 plus p r intersection u3 so 2 by 15 and sum of <coughs> denominator was 6 by 15 15 15 cancel 2 by 6 that is equal to 1 by 3 and similarly for third point it is event that ball is said to be red and it is from third on so u3 upon r will be p r intersection u3 upon p r intersection u1 plus p r intersection <coughs> u2 plus p r intersection u3 that means 1 upon 15 1 upon 15 divided by 6 upon 15 15 15 cut so answer will be 1 upon 16 now this is called the base theorem when our <coughs> conditional event is given and reverse conditional event is to be found out and that time you have to use the base theorem here it is said that there are three urns each urn contain two white three red three white two red four white one red <coughs> and first of all randomly we have to select an urn so that probability of each urn will be 1 by 3 1 by 3 probability of selection of each urn will be 1 by 3 then after we have to find that first urn is selected on that condition ball is said to be red that means 3 upon 5 second urn is selected on that condition ball is said to be red so <coughs> 2 by 5 similarly for third and it will be 1 by 5 and we have to find intersection of both these that the ball is red and it is from first term that means p r intersection u1 so formula for that will be p u1 into r upon u1 similarly for second urn ball is red and it is from second urn that means p u2 into p r upon u2 and for third urn it will be 
our intersection u3 that means ball is red and it is from third run so p u3 into p r upon u3 <coughs> then you have to add all these three event and three events which are asked first is event that ball is said to be red and it comes from first run that means ball is red on that condition it is from first run here this is condition here this is condition on that condition actually the word this must be used so that means p u1 upon r red on that condition it is from first run so you have to take intersection of event r intersection u1 and at denominator you have to take the sum of all these three events similarly for second point ball is red on that condition from second run so at numerator you have to take p r intersection u2 at division sum of all these three events and for third event ball is said to be red on that condition it is from third <coughs> earn that means at numerator you have to take r intersection u3 and at denominator the sum of all these three events and you will find the all three points now students if you like our channel or lecture do subscribe share our link and always comment on our lecture so that we can make it better and better and better